What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Armando from the God Taught YouTube channel. Uh, I'm just here to kind of give you guys an update as far as what's going on with me, where I've been, what's going on with the channel. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't really posted any content in like the last two months, uh, except for the one short that I was out in San Diego, and I seen that they had the uh, Book of Mormon at the hotel. But besides, I haven't posted any content really. I uh, still engage with the comments, uh, you know, some strange reason since I started stop posting content, it's like I gained like more subs subscribers and the co and the uh, comment section has been pretty steady still, and I'll still I'll still engage there. Um, for those of you guys that engage me in the comments, you know I definitely try to respond to as many as possible. Um, if not just a like, if it's not really nothing to respond to, I'll give it a like. If it's something to respond to, I'll respond to. But um, yeah, just want to give you guys a kind of idea of where I stand so for prior to like the last two months I was posting a lot of content like at least once a week try to be consistent as possible with uh, with the content for the channel purposes um, and, all, and it was really just heavy on uh, Jehovah Witness Jehovah Witnesses talking to them trying to expose their false teaching their false doctrine their inconsistencies uh, all that kind of stuff like that man but um it got to a point, man, it was like consuming my life. Like uh, every time I left the house with my kids, by myself, my family, my wife, uh, I would take a route or go somewhere I knew I would, see, I would, I could interact with a Jehovah Witness. And it was only for the purpose to try to get more content. Cause I was like, man, oh man, people are gonna love this. I need more content and I haven't, you know, my last video, basically, I can't chop it up no more. Or, you know, I posted it all. I need something new for, you know, for the for the channel. And, uh, yeah, it was just getting to that point. And it wasn't fruitful. Uh, it wasn't fruitful personally. Because, uh, like, all my time was just on, J, you know, the JW library. Just finding their their false teachings or inconsistencies. Um, studying the Bible just for the, uh, for the sake of... Uh, refuting a JW argument, you know, and it wasn't fruitful to me personally, and then it's, it definitely wasn't fruitful based off the conversations I was having with the Jehovah Witnesses. I would engage with it. It didn't seem most of the time very fruitful, man. So God had to give me a heart check, you know, kind of praying and seeking the Lord and uh, speaking to some uh, other brothers in Christ, man. It's like God was like, man, take a step back, man. Like that's that's not what you need to be doing, man. You need to be focusing on your walk with me. My fellowship, my my relationship with the Lord, walking in the Spirit, growing spiritually for to be a better husband, better father, better friend, better child of God, um, all that stuff like that, man. So yeah, taking the last couple months, man, to really just uh, really just being my Word, being in prayer, meditating on the Lord, man. It's been it's been a lot more fruitful than the months I was talking to uh, to Jehovah Witnesses. Personally, it's been a lot more fruitful, man. So I give God all praise, honor, and glory for that. And um, if it's God's will, my content will be more catered towards that, edifying uh, brothers and sisters in Christ um, on, you know, certain doctrines and teachings within the Bible, stuff that a lot of times as Christians we look over, man. So sometimes as Christians, man, we want to get on here and just, Trinity, 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 deity of Christ, you know, person of the Holy Spirit. But as far as our personal walk and our personal relationship with God, there's a lot more to it. Uh, as far as us being true disciples um, of God, doing his will and following his teaching and, you know, doing the things that are pleasing unto God. Those are the things that are important, man. And that's that's the things I'm going to have to give an account for. So that's what I've been doing for the last two months, man. Just making sure I'm doing the things that I that I know I'm personally responsible for my walk with God and with my family and with my friends. So that's what the last two two months have been, man. But it's been it's been a blessing. Um, but doesn't mean I'm opposed to again having a conversation with somebody in the comments, man. So if you're uh, somebody who's a Christian, you want to reach out, or if you're somebody who's a LDS or a Jehovah Witness or you know any anything else man like i'm open to have a conversation so if you want to drop a comment just one thing i'm not going to do is i'm not going to be a keyboard warrior meaning i'm not going to go back and forth 24 50 times 100 times in the comments if i feel like you're trying to what we're discussing in the comment 
it's better said over a conversation over the phone. It'd be probably a lot quicker and fruitful. I'm gonna respond by inviting you to a conversation. Hey, reach out to me via email. If I notice you just continue to comment instead of taking the, the invitation to reach out to me so we can have a discussion, uh, I'm, it's probably the quickest way to get blocked, just to be honest with you. Because uh, at that point, I'm just gonna take you as a troll. And I'll say, hey, reach out to me via, you know, via email. And you go on to five different posts and just continue to comment and ignore my invite. At that point, I'm gonna take you as a troll and you're blocked, I'm not gonna go for it. I don't mind you having a disagreement with me in the comments, um, but again, if I feel like at this point you're just trolling, you're probably gonna get blocked. So just kind of a heads up. Um, but yeah, reach out to me, man. Um, the other thing I wanted to do was give a shout out to a brother in Christ. Uh, he's a good brother, generous brother, man. We fellowship with him, man. We fellowship like on, almost on a weekly basis, man. Him and his wife are d definitely good, good brothers and sisters of Christ, man. So I praise God for them. Uh, but he's the rugged Christian here on YouTube. Uh, but shout out to my brother, uh, the rugged Christian here on YouTube. I'm not gonna say his real name, but man, he's blessed me, man. I got I got some uh, I got some good brothers and sisters in Christ, man. I had the pleasure of meeting via this uh, this platform or YouTube. So you know, shout out to my brother, uh, Jesus Christ saves, um, and his fiance, man. They blessed me with uh, with some with some stuff, man. And, They've been a blessing to me. And again, my, my brother, Jesus, uh, the rugged Christian on here. I'll share with you guys some stuff that he sent me. So he sent me a, uh, sent me a Quran. He never had a Quran. Don't know much about Islam, but uh, definitely something I'll, I'll start looking into when God, you know, allows me to. And to go along with it, the truth about Muhammad. So, you know, of course, probably getting into the history of Islam and Muhammad and all that stuff like that. So he sent me that, this stuff. For the LDS folks, the Joseph Smith translation. So, something I know a bit about the LDS. I dealt with them for about two years. The LDS missionaries came over my house for about two years. I was talking to them. This is before I started making content, so I don't have really anything on on video. But um, also, Joseph Smith begins his works, uh, Book of Mormon, 1830 edition. Something else I'll eventually get into when God permits me to. And this dude sent me a grip of Bibles, man. So Thomas Nelson, personal size Bible. So of course, can never really have too many Bibles. Got this one right here. Another Holy Bible. The original Bible for modern readers. So, we've got another Bible here. Keyword Study Bible. This is always a good one to have. Keyword Study Bible. Send me this. So, got that. And this one right here, man, this is nice. Let me share. Let me show you what this actually looks like. So, this is a uh, a Journal for the Word Reference Bible. This is a also Thomas Nelson. Man, look how nice this thing is. Man, that sucker is nice. Like, nice leather, all that stuff like that, man. So, yeah, these are these are definitely gifts, man, from a good brother in Christ that I appreciate from him and his wife. Very, very generous to me, man. Like I said, stuff I don't deserve, but, again, God puts good people in your life, man, and his grace just continues to pour out on them on a regular old dude like me but yeah so touching in with y'all um hope all is well pray for me i pray for y'all um but again if y'all are looking for some more content uh i'm gonna drop it as 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 god leads me to drop content uh, but if you guys want to reach out my email is lordsvessel702 at gmail.com that's l-o-r-d-s-v-e-s-s-e-l 702 at gmail.com you guys can reach out to me and i'll shoot you my phone number and uh yeah we can uh we can dialogue we can discuss with the fellowship all that good stuff but in the meantime y'all take care god bless peace